Hey everyone, I'm Pramod and I'm the founder of Evalo and I'm so excited to take you behind the scenes and show you exactly how I built this complete app by myself. Even though I'm a non-coder, non-technical person, I was able to build Evalo using a combination of low-code tools. I use Flutterflow to help me build my front end. I use Superbase to help me with the back end, the database, the auth, the storage in real time is taken care by Superbase. And then I use Buildship to help me connect my front end and back end with other third party services that I use. For example, Resend, which I use to send emails to people who take the evaluation on Evalo. But the most important tool in my arsenal is definitely Google Gemini because I don't know how to code. I asked Gemini to write many of the codes for me, to write the backend queries for me. And that's how I was eventually able to publish and launch Evalo. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to take you through and show you how all of these systems connect with each other. So let's start with Flutterflow, my favorite app that helps me build front ends for software in minutes instead of hours. In fact, Flutterflow is so great for developing the front end. I no longer design on Figma first. I design directly on Flutterflow. So here you can see I have my different pages which you would have seen in the demo. This is the evaluation page where a user can create their evaluation. And uh, these are the buttons which connect directly with Gemini. So one of the advantages I had was that Flutterflow integrates directly with Gemini and I can give them my API key and then I have access to Gemini within Flutterflow's uh, set of tools. For example, I can add a button here and I can create an action which calls a Gemini API call. So you can see here I'm sending a prompt to Gemini which includes the quiz name and category name so that the AI has a better context about what it's helping the user with. So when they ask Gemini to create a question for them, Gemini has a lot more information about what the category is and what the quiz is all about. Now, all of this only works because of Superbase. This is where I've created all of my tables, my views, my wrappers, and uh, my stored procedures. And this was only possible because of Gemini AI, where I could tell it what I was building. I could give it the table definitions and say, can you write a view to give me information from this table and that table. And that really helped me because in the front end, then I didn't have to go ahead and create, uh, you know, complex queries. I could write a view in the back end. And for example, on this page, which shows you all of the leads that you have gotten, this is just one back end query that's pulling from a view. Amazing. Now, Evalo requires a few cron jobs to run in the background so that, you know, emails are sent at the right time to the users. And uh, I wrote one or two edge functions using Superbase, but then I came across Buildship that allows me to visually create these backend jobs. And that made building even faster. You, for example, on this job, you can see there's a Superbase trigger that listens for when a new row is added to a particular table. And when that row is added, it extracts information from another table and uh, connects to Resend, which is my email service provider and sends an email to the person saying that here is a link to your evaluation. So thanks to low code and AI, I was able to completely build Evalo in two and a half weeks. And I'm convinced that this is in fact the future of software development. I'm excited for you to try Evalo and I look forward to your feedback. I'm Pramod. Until we meet again, take care.